the unfortunate sufferer begins to sink into the sludge, as resisting just makes matters worse. He or she vanishes without a trace unless there is a vine to catch hold of, except maybe a hat floating sadly on the surface. It was a horrible decision. Quicksand was perhaps the most dangerous peril faced by silver screen explorers, following by rotting rope bridges and enormous clams that could submerge a diver. Given how frequently quicksand fatalities and near deaths occur in cinema, you'd think we'd hear about quicksand catastrophes in real life. However, an internet search for quicksand deaths yields few results. Is quicksand as hazardous as it appears? Can quicksand really kill you? In this video, we will be looking at the nature of quicksand as well as whether or not it can suck you into oblivion. So stay tuned and let's dive right into it. Well, not the quicksand, obviously, but the video. So, can quicksand really kill you? Yes, it can, but not in the way you might think. To answer this, we must first understand what quicksand is and a little bit about density. Natural quicksand is made up of fine sand, very fine micron-sized clay particles, and water. This unique combination results in some intriguing features. If left undisturbed, the quicksand will gradually become more viscous or hard, but a sudden shift in pressure will cause it to liquefy. Because they do not appear to follow the standard liquid or solid laws, liquid mixes having these qualities are characterized as shear thinning thixotropic non-Newtonian fluids. There are several instances of thixotropic fluids in everyday life, such as toothpaste, syrups, and hair gels that seem solid, yet flow like a fluid when pressure or force is increased, such as squeezing toothpaste out of a tube. Yield stress is the amount of stress or force required to make the material flow like a fluid. The yield stress for quicksand is fairly low. A 1% increase in the full weight of the quicksand is sufficient. It can also go the opposite way. Non-Newtonian shear thickening fluids, such as cornstarch in water, have practical uses as impact protection materials, such as bulletproof jackets and motorcycle armor, rapidly stiffening on impact while remaining pleasant and flexible to wear. Because quicksand is a shear thinning non-Newtonian fluid, you would sink extremely rapidly if you walked out onto the pit. However, the depth to which you descend is determined by your density. Quicksand, or sand that acts as a liquid because it is saturated with water, can be a mucky annoyance, but it is virtually impossible to die in the ways that movies show. This is due to the fact that quicksand is heavier than the human body. Living things can become entangled in it, but they are not drawn down to the bottom. Instead, they float on top. Our legs are rather thick, so they may descend, but the torso contains the lungs and is therefore buoyant enough to keep us from sinking. Any consumer of popular culture will be familiar with tales of quicksand eating people and animals whole, whether in movies or on TV. But the physics and reality behind the illusion don't always stack up. In reality, tests have shown that being entirely buried in quicksand is impossible, since people are less thick than quicksand and would only drop to their chests before beginning to float. The potential of quicksand to catch and retain unwary victims is what makes it dangerous. Quicksand arises when fine materials such as clay, sand, silt, or other grainy soil absorbs water from a subsurface source. These traps are frequently seen around the outskirts or edges of natural water supplies. The sand on top may look solid, but when pressed by a footstep, it will merge with the sand just underneath it, generating a thick sludge. The viscosity of the grainy mixture grows as whatever is caught in the quicksand resists, making it exceedingly difficult to escape, especially if the prisoner is panicked and growing weary. Exposure or drowning in neighboring increasing waves is the actual murderer of quicksand victims. So, how can you survive if you ever find yourself in this tricky situation? If you become caught in quicksand, the best thing to do is lean back so that your weight is dispersed over a larger area. Moving will not drown you. Slow back and forth motions, in fact, can allow water to enter the hole surrounding a trapped limb, lessening the quicksand's grip. However, escape will take some time 
According to physicists, the force necessary to retrieve your foot from quicksand at a pace of 1 cm per second is about the same as the force required to lift a medium-sized automobile. A person stuck in quicksand may more likely be overwhelmed and drowned by an approaching tide than the quicksand itself, as quicksand is common in tidal areas, but even these sorts of catastrophes are rare. So, where does dying fit in if you don't suffocate? Exhaustion. If you exert too much effort in attempting to escape, you may exhaust yourself and perish as a result of both wariness, fear, and exposure. This does not only apply to humans, as any animal that is caught and attempts to flee in a panic may die from exhaustion, from attempting to flee, or may face a simple attack from predators who perceive an easy meal. Now. If you're carrying a substantial amount of heavy goods, your lungs may not be buoyant enough to elevate you, causing the rest of your body to sink as well. However, you should be aware that while it is possible to die of asphyxiation in this manner, the same reasoning applies to ordinary water, so you are no more likely to drown under quicksand than you are underwater. The true difficulty and risk come from getting out after you're trapped, because it may be fairly tough depending on the sort of materials and chemistry of the quicksand. Every minute you spend stranded in quicksand raises your chances of dehydration, malnutrition, sunstroke, or hypothermia. If it doesn't send chills up your spine, those hungry looking eyes will. You may even drown based on where you are. Quicksand is commonly seen near the sea since water rises more easily through the sand. So, if you ever find yourself near the seaside, Keep an eye on the time. You'll have a little more than six hours until the tide shifts. A person will gradually sink in quicksand, as frantic motion will accelerate the victim's sinking. This might be the origin of the proverb, never struggle if you're stuck in quicksand. But no amount of striving will send you in over your head. It argues that becoming stuck in quicksand near the water, which is typically where quicksand is found, might get you into trouble rather than struggling. In movies, the hazards of quicksand are greatly exaggerated, most frequently for dramatic effect. In reality, while quicksand may and will imprison you if you get caught in its web, you are quite unlikely to die from suffocation or drowning. However, they are more likely to die from a predator attack or starvation if they are not found at all. So, while quicksand doesn't pose a quick threat as its name suggests, you should be more cautious about escaping than sinking as its form of assault is a war of attrition against your stamina and vitality. Dry quicksand, on the other hand, is loose sand that gives easily to gravity or pressure when its bulk density is decreased by blowing air through it. It behaves similarly to typical quicksand, except it lacks water and does not work on the same premise. A granular substance is something like dry quicksand. Dry quicksand on the moon was considered a possible risk to the Project Apollo lunar missions throughout their development. However, the successful landings of the unmanned surveyor probe a few years ago and their findings of a solid, rocky surface ruled out this option. The huge plates at the ends of the Apollo lunar module's legs were intended to mitigate this risk, but the astronauts didn't experience dry quicksand. So there you have it. While it is true that some people are inventive enough to discover various methods to risk themselves in a vast pool of water, mud, and sand, the laws of physics will prohibit you from ever entirely sinking in. However, there are several additional ways to get hurt when attempting to escape a pit, so it's better not to tempt fate. If you want to visit a quicksand location, bring a friend to help if one of you becomes trapped. Remember to keep cool and use science to help you survive. And there you have it guys. That's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it informative, drop me a like, and also feel free to drop your opinions down in the comment section. Thank you, and see you in the next video.